Craig. Yeah, tell me. I've got a pre for us today, but it's a 40 gram serving. Oh gosh, no, that sounds more like a mass gain, a sort of whey protein. I, I need a pre-workout. No, it's all pre-workout, I promise you that. 40 grams in a pre? That'll make me go ape shit. No, it'll do more than that. It'll make you go gorilla mode. <laughs> Hello there guys, come on in, welcome yourselves in, of course a Review Bros review on a pre-workout, Aaron, Craig, and today we're hyping up the fact that we've got our hands on the new Gorilla Mind pre-workout. You know it as Gorilla Mode. It's one of the most well-known pre-workouts in pre-workout history. And we've only gone and managed to bag ourselves version two, the brand new one. There it is in its full glory. And we're gonna go through the usuals today. Yeah, we'll be bringing you the taste, price, label and effects and working out if it's gonna be your next pre-workout. Will it live up to that hype? That's what we want to know. And all we ask in return is for our information on this one. Is a like, a thumbs up, a subscription to the channel, and of course a comment down below to help us to help you. Is this gonna be more potent than version one? It's 50-50 on the comment list, discretionary wise. We're excited anyway, you know we were big fans of the version one, and we are excited to bring this one to you. Is it gonna be gorilla mode? We're into the first segment of the review, Taste of Mixability, and there are a lot of flavours on here, so we're going to rattle them off on the website, and it's always a good thing, isn't it? So, Mouthwater in Watermelon, Tiger's Blood, Cherry Blackout, Fruit Punch, Cotton Candy Grape, Blackberry Lemonade, Orange Rush, Juice, Jungle Juice, and Strawberry Kiwi. Quite a few. Now, the one we've got for the sake of the review, and we was lucky enough to be able to choose this one, Bombsicle, which is we always really like, don't we? We we're love big it. fans of this flavour. We always prefer our candy ones, but obviously what we've got to say is fantastic amount of options. Therefore, if you don't like Bombsicle, you don't like watermelon, you've got so many other choices on that list. Now we have given them a bit of a pre-mix, but they have started to settle, so we're gonna shake them up again. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, it's a 39.6 gram serving size in Bombsicle flavour. There might be some slight variations flavour to flavour, but it's a massive scoop, two scoops at that. Literally a protein scoop size, more than even some of them. So what do we think, mixability? It's definitely gonna be worse than average because of the sheer size of it, but that's what <laughs> she said. I actually think it's really good. Well, not when we left it. If <laughs> you keep shaking it, it's all right. Yeah, it looks much better. I'll try and show you, but it's hard with these ones. Just don't let it settle, basically. Yeah, don't let it settle and reshake it when you can. So we've got Bombsicle going down. Wish us luck. Surprisingly good, eh? Good, eh? Mm. Sweet and sour. Yeah. Very forthcoming. And that's why we have more water than average. You can't get away with 300 mil with 40 grams of serving. You can't do it. About four to five hundred would probably be the sweet spot before you feel like you're just full on doing a fucking gallon of water. Ah, I do like it a lot. What do you think? Yeah, I really like it. It is quite sour. There's not really any nastiness on the back end at all, really. No. And from memory, I think it's better than the first one. Yeah. Problem is, we did take that first one like three, four years ago. That's how long it's been until version two's come out. Yeah. I've got a score in mind, do you? Yeah. Three, two, one, nine. point five. Ooh. Ooh. We're getting in higher tier territory scores. It's a very good start to the review. How much is it setting us back? Well, let's find that in the damn price segment. We're into price time, so how much will you pay for this premium pre-workout, Gorilla Mode version two? Well, you head over to the official website, gorillamind.com, where you can use our discount code RB10, which does work on everything, luckily for you guys. You can pick up this 40, 20 serving tub for $53.99, or 42 pounds 98 pence, right? Absolutely, it is one of those 40, 20 serving containers. You know the drill. It's one of those actually you probably don't need to do this on, but 
We always go by the maximum serving size for the consistency's sake, and a lot of people are gonna double scoop this bitch, right? Let's be honest with ourselves. When you do the math on it, right, dividing it up by those 20 servings, it comes in at $2.69 for you guys in the USA, and two pounds and 15 pence for us UK guys. Now, we have a consistent pricing scale where a 10 is amazing, a zero is very expensive, and a five is quite obviously average. This does come in at a 2.5 out of 10, so you're very right, and it's something we very much expected. It is more expensive than your average pre-workout, but it is packing a lot more than your average pre-workout. We're going down that Ferrari analogy, it's very expensive. It still does get you from A to B, but it gets you from A to B in style. Use your discretion as to whether you think it's worth it or not, as we of course move into the other segments of the review, the label and the effects coming up right now. Right, let's get into this label then. So what is all the hype about? We've got ourselves 39.6 gram serving out, which is definitely above the average. We've got a bunch of B vitamins and minerals at the top. Nothing too fancy, just general bodily function. But we'll get into the main meat and potatoes. L-citrulline at 10 grams. Yeah, that's a massive dosage, guys. You normally only see like, like 4 grams, 5 grams, 6 grams. We've got 10 grams of the stuff here. That's going to really boost up the nitro oxide within the bloodstream, helping, of course, with blood flow, vascularity, vasodilation, nutrient delivery to the muscle cell, and ultimately the pumps in the gym. Gee whiz, Batman. Then we've got creatine on a hydrate at the full 5 gram dose. Yeah, we like to see it. You know, creatine's always been one of those things. Do you need it in a pre? Do you not? Well, we've always said, if it's fully dosed to your daily maximum amount, then so be it. We'll take it. And we know that creatine helps with a whole host of benefits from strength output, endurance, pumps, hyperhydration benefits. A lot of goodies do come from that product, of course, when it saturates within the body. We'll take that. Then we've got L-tyrosine at a whopping five grams. Yeah, that's a massive dosage. Five times what we typically see. Obviously, it's the amino acid in there for focus, concentration, and mood boost. Absolutely. And then we've got betaine and hydrous at four grams. Yeah, again, a massive dosage. Normally only see it around the two grams to two and a half grams. So we're looking at pretty much double here. Now that's in there for endurance-based benefits, strength output. It's even been shown to help with cognition. Lovely. Then we've got hydroprime, a registered form of glycerol, 65% at four grams. Yeah, nice. Now it's like a sponge, guys. This glycerol, it's going to directly pull in moisture, water, nutrients. It's going to hyperhydrate the muscle cells, giving them an instantaneous pump. Nice, and then we just have uh, malic acid at three grams, so broken it down separately to the L-citrulline. Yeah, that's in there obviously with the L-citrulline now. It gives um, an endurance-based benefit to the product as well. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, then we've got pink Himalayan sea salt at a gram. A mega dosage. Normally only see it at 200, 300, 400 milligrams, so we're going above and beyond here. Obviously that's going to help with pumps, muscular contraction, and athletic performance within training. Really good to see it. Yeah, and we do commend them on getting the good flavour in, even with a gram of salt in it, don't we? We've got to say it. Impressive. Then we've got Alpha GPC, 50%, 800 milligrams. Yeah, a very good dosage again. Now, choline, as we know, it's going to wake up the brain. It's going to help with the neuron connectivity. It's going to focus things in, get you within the zone to help go crush training. Hell yes. Caffeine and hydrous, 400 milligrams. Yeah, good dosage. Obviously, at that upper end of what we would consider to be a daily amount, four cups worth of coffee, a strong energy drink. It's going to give you the energy within training. That should wake you up. Then we've got Hoopazia, Soretta Extract, Hoopazine A, 200 micrograms. Yeah, dub the learning chemical again, more focus, concentration benefits to work with the L-tyrosine and the Alpha GPC. And again, we're looking at tunnel vision vibes here. I'm very excited. Yeah, what a mega label. We don't have a digestive aid. That could hold it back potentially, but it is a stacked formula, isn't it? A very stacked formula looking down the energy, pumps, athletic performance, hyperhydration route. It's got a bit of everything. Without any holes, I'm very, very excited to see what this one does. Right guys, so a question we often get asked on the channel is how do you speak to women? And the answer is we don't know, but what we do know is the effects of this pre-workout in the real world, the true world effects of Gorilla Mode, and this is the newest version, version two, and the hype train is real. Now we start our journey obviously at the beginning of our experience of using it. I've used it four times, this is your second time using it today. <laughs> No beach running. If it's in your product, 99% of the time, it's the first thing you feel, unless there's a strong psychedelic type ingredient in there, or an alpha year himbine, or something crazy that takes the forefront. Without the beta alanine, you don't get the tingle flushing type feeling, the paraphysia. Some people like that, some people don't. We personally miss it because we like that tingle. It gives us a sense of urgency, 
and a sense of let's go and start to kill shit in the gym. But what does come in is a very nice wave of energy and actually, I would have to truly argue probably a stronger wave of energy than I would expect from a product like this. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Like we touched on in the label section, it's on the upper end of what we would consider a daily driver with the 400 megas of caffeine. And there's obviously a hefty dose of nootropics in there that bolster that up even more so. So like Aaron said, you don't get the beta tingles, but what you do get is that almost immediate nice surge of energy that makes you get cracking, basically. Absolutely, and I feel like there's a reason that energy feels stronger than your typical 400 caffeine. Those new tropics, and I've got to be honest with you, the five grams of L-tyrosine, I've got to say, makes it feel a lot stronger perhaps than, than you would expect. But in a nice way, it's not too strong, and it still does live true to its name, and it does live true to the daily driver field that it's actually trying to work in. Now that L-tyrosine gives you that brain awakening, plus the alpha GPC at that huge dose, we've got hoopazine. Those three wake the brain up. So therefore, if the brain is awake, it feels like an energy drive. Maybe not from a heart rate perspective, blood pressure perspective, but definitely from an awakening point of view. And therefore it does feel strong. You crack through training, A to B to C, you are on the ball in training with a nice sense of energy that lasts actually past your training session at hand. Even against the nastiest days, such as leg day, which we put it up against today, it did very well. I still feel really energized. Yeah, it's a nice healthy feeling product. It's definitely a bodybuilder's dream in that obviously you're getting a nice amount of energy, a lovely amount of mood elevation and focus and pumps. Should we talk about them Let's next? Talk about them. Absolutely insane. Yeah, really gnarly pumps. Almost, truth be told, too much, especially on a leg day or something like that where you need that functional piece, the, the depth in the squats, the gnarliness in the uh, leg presses, etc., etc. It's a very... Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump well-rounded product with focus being very very top tier energy being very top tier for its daily driver realm focus being very elite as well it is about as good as a daily type pre-workout is ever gonna be it's solid my truthful experience and personal feelings around it is I do prefer it to version one and that's crazy to say because obviously it has lost the urea durensis but that tyrosine, those nootropics, they really flood through and keep you going. It's, it's a dream, as Craig put it. It's a very good product. I will use it going forth, no doubt about it. No negatives, no cold sweats, jitters, no nausea, no issues, even though there wasn't a digestive aid. It felt like it flew through me in a good sense. Um, no excessive heart rate, breathing issues. It didn't work against you, it worked with you. The harder you trained, the harder it came along and gave you a helping hand. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, it is an expensive product, but then again, as we've already touched on, it is a premium pre-workout. So it's not, it's not going after people on a budget, it's going after your top tier high-end athletes that want a fully stacked product. What we have said, if on the full, on the full dosage, if it is too much, half serve, three quarter serve, you're still gonna be hitting clinical dosages on most of those ingredients. Absolutely, and we've said it, unless you're a 300 pound shredded bodybuilder at an elite level, I don't feel like you need two scoops for the, and this is meant as no disrespect, the average Joe in the gym, a scoop is enough, and you just look at the dosages and they tell their own story. The only thing that'd be short probably is the creatine. Mm. Which most people would take, you know, if you're into your lifting, you take that anyway. Exactly. So it's on the buy it list. It's a fantastic product from Gorilla Minds. Not much more can be said other than the usuals. As always, stay steamed. Gorilla mode it.